the end of the lesson, I stood up. And I never had an experience like that in my life, even though I had been in San Francisco in the 60s and I had some stuff that made, had, gave me some interesting experiences. My body completely disappeared. All, everything that my, the tonus of my system was completely perfect for my skeleton. There was nothing. I didn't feel, I didn't need to feel anything. Anyway, I knew San Francisco very, very well in those days. I, I had been an epidemiologist for many years in San Francisco. And I walked home. The only problem was I walked for two hours in the wrong direction. I felt that great. My body totally disappeared. So I would like to ask, sometimes I thought of asking Russell, was I embodied or disembodied? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what is the answer, you know? I, or ask uh, Dan Siegel, who talked about uh, the, the Planck thing in consciousness, which sounded to me uh, at the beginning in Genesis, you know, the word and then the word became flesh and it sounded anyway that's another kind of uh, discussion and then i would talk about another lesson that he gave me and that was he was in a funny mood and and to be honest i should have known better because moshe was an interesting character he had his moods of course like everyone and i knew well enough by then don't bother him when he's in one of his moods but I, we had made an agreement about lessons and so he gave he gave me a lesson at the end of the lesson it was in 1981 i got up and i i i don't really know what schizophrenia is i don't know but i felt schizophrenic i felt like there was no me there was no body there was no emotional connection to this body there was i can't describe it and i looked at him and i said moshe what have you done to me and he said to me, it'll be a good learning experience for you. That was his response. And it took me about three days to get it all whatever. That's, well, was I embodied or disembodied at that time? But whatever it was. But I'm explaining that, saying those things to you because Moshe gave lessons that were as tender as could be to people. And he gave lessons to people, and, and I've had this discussion with a number of trainers where, from my point of view, he never went with the pattern, or certainly didn't start with the pattern of the person, and he certainly wasn't gentle. But he was, he knew enough to take the person to whatever extreme the person could handle, and the person would handle it, because there was going to be change, like it or not. 